What's up everyone? Today is uh, another filter change and fluid change. It is going to be the automatic transmission fluid and filter on my O2 Frontier. Parts that you're going to need obviously are going to be a gasket for your pan. It's going to require the pan to be dropped to change the filter. Going to need some transmission fluid. Going to need a plastic putty knife or spatula, uh, just in case there's any of the old gasket that sticks to your your pan base. Going to need a 10 millimeter socket. I'm using a long shank. 19 millimeter for your drain plug. Torque wrench. We're also going to need some ultra gray gasket maker. Uh, the bolts that hold the drain pan uh, to the to the vehicle are self sealing. So when you're putting these back in, you're going to want to put a little bit of uh, gasket maker around your thread so that when it suck so when it tightens up that uh, um, it seals again. You could buy the bolts if you want. They're a little bit expensive, so this will work. And something to catch your oil in, oil drain pan. All right, one thing I forgot to mention, you want your transmission warm up to temperature. While we're waiting on that oil to drain, let me show you what these bolts are gonna look like. So you've got these bolts all around. There's one, two, three. One, two, three on this side. Five that run up and down. And then three on the other side, five again. And when you go and tighten these back down, they want to be in a crisscross pattern. Going to need an extension too. There's a couple of uh, hard hoses here. I'm gonna have to try and get around. See, this is a hard line hose. Probably for cooler. I can go back in and check the manual, but uh, at this point, I'm not really worried about it. So I'm gonna get this this bolt and this bolt off. This way I can get access to the bolts that are under here to get this pan, pan completely off. Okay, so you can see the uh, pan. I do have some good bit of shavings there. We'll get this pan all cleaned up and uh, start reinstalling everything.
So this is frustrating. The transmission filter that's supposed to have been compatible with my truck is not. Um, ran into some problems. Obviously the transmission filter that I got was incorrect even though it was listed by the salesman as being correct. So uh, put the old transmission fluid back, or filter back in and this is where we are today. Uh, so parts that we're going to need today. Gloves, transmission fluid, shop towels are optional, brake cleaner for cleaning things up, uh, and a funnel. I've got two actual different devices that I've kind of co-mingled here. My funnel was too large to fit in the fill plug uh, or the feed tube and this that I've used whoops, for my wife's van um, it would not fit on top of the, the large cap. It's designed for the smaller quart size. Um, so, made do with what I had, took the plug off, put it in here, and I'll latch this into the, to the fill tube. In my truck, I'm gonna fill right here. This is where the transmission dipstick is. I'm going to fill right through that tube. Like always, I'm going to clean up the area a little bit. Try and get the dust down. Dipstick out, set it aside. So what I'm going to do now is let it get up to temperature while I let the truck down. I'll take it for a spin. Alright, so what I've done is I've uh, drove around a little bit, let the truck get up temperature. Tried to find as level spot as I could. I'm at a park right now. Uh, so let's see what the, uh, what the level looks like. Weird. Actually, right, right good. So you want to use the hot level because the truck has warmed up to temperature. You can see I'm just below the overfill, which was approximately uh, three and a half quarts, maybe a little bit more. It'd be different. Every truck or every vehicle is going to be different. Um, you just need to look at yours. Uh, so use the hot side when you when your truck is warm or your vehicle is warm. And you can see that one is spot on. So I'm happy with that. As you can see the uh, fluid level was was ideal at least for me and I uh, was happy with the way that it turned out. Not a hard thing to do to just drain and uh, refill your transmission fluid if you need to. Uh, this one turned in a little bit longer because I also wanted to do the filter which ended up being the incorrect filter um, what can we do? Well, I hope you liked the video. If you did, let me know. And uh, if you didn't, let me know. There are a lot of things. I'm not perfect. I'm not a mechanic. And this is just something I enjoy doing to save money on the side. You all have a good day. And happy working on your car.